How's it going, well, guys? Got a product review. Yes, we do. Some bit of information about it. And if you couldn't tell, it's, you're looking at it right now. It's this beautiful, beautiful Chico. It's a new upcoming brand of Hugo's. And, um, well, most well, people may not know that they're new, but they actually are a new company. They didn't just pop up one day and someone yeah. had them and they were available. No, they're kind of, they're pretty new. Yeah, they're brand spanking new. This thing is pronounced either like Sori or Soria. I don't know. It's, yeah. I think it's Sori. Sorry, uh, spot Sora. It's obviously not English, so we're gonna pronounce it wrong. So um, forgive us, but um, if you're looking on the Five Star website, it is the uh, Shika Soria. Spell S O R Y A. It's a gold. It's a, uh, it's a Generation Two Shika. Yes. The, um, what I've realized on the forums is that most people don't buy them or hesitate to buy them because they think. Or maybe they used to, the old ones may have been as restricted as a Syrian or something along those lines. But, uh, like I said, they're brand new, so. And, uh, the craftsmen that make these, it's a full Egyptian, by the way, straight from Egypt. Uh, the hookah masters that make these are all from, all from Egypt, Syria, so hence maybe the, fir the first generation had a more of a Syrian pull, just. Because they have Syrian makers. Like this is use. all modeled after the obvious Al Fokker hookah. It's from Syrian. Syrian orientation to it. Yes. But, uh, first things first, this is a completely solid brass hookah. Cool. Yeah, well, well, well. yeah it, it, it's it, not it, solid brass. Most of it's pretty thick because it doesn't ting like the KM does. Like, well, that does, that's irrelevant. That's my one cover. <laughs> But, but this is pretty hollow. The only basically molded or cast part is the bottom. Most of this is solid brass. And on their website, they're claiming, well, they're not pointing fingers at anyone, but they're saying that they don't put sand in it anywhere to make it heavier or anything like that. And this is a heavy stem. Wait, 5 pounds? 10 pounds, maybe? I didn't weigh it, but... Uh, Just I'll feel anywhere between like 5 and 10 pounds, so it's... Nah, nah, nah. No? More accurate, five to seven. Five, down there. Yeah. And it is a little top heavy with the jumbo base, and the base is real. it's smaller. The base of the base, <laughs> is, uh, uh. it's actually smaller than just a regular KM bell. Or, what would you call that kind of bell? Syrian bell or what? No, it's not Syrian. Egyptian, Egyptian bell? bell. Egyptian bell, there you go. Yeah. yeah, if you've seen jumbo bases before, this is, you know, yep. nothing new. Yep. Just with, like I said, it's top heavy, and it's a heavy yeah. stem on a... Not I don't, so heavy base, I don't but. know if they make base protectors for them or not, but you probably could get one for like smaller bases. But we have maybe no. like a mod, like a, a mod base protector. Because I've seen the different sizes, but yeah, it's pretty good hookah. It's got its own styling to it. The welds look pretty good compared to the cams. Not lower bash on cam. We love cams. Yeah, we're not. Everyone knows that uses cams. That the uh, quality on that has gone down a little bit. Gone down. As far as the welding, because I don't know whether it's demand it's or whatnot. It's demand, but don't get us wrong, cams are cams wonderful. Cams are good hookahs, solid hookahs. hookahs, can't go wrong with them. But um, but the welds just have gotten a little... Shoddy. Shoddy, yeah, shall we say. But uh, like I said, uh, Chica, brand new, and the moment I saw this, a buddy of mine bought it, and I fell in love instantly with it. Yeah. So it's 150 bucks From Five Star. And it comes with... A similar tray to the KM Gold tray, at least for this model. I don't know about the other ones. Uh, on the website, this is all they really show. So it's just their standard Shika tray. Comes with its own Egyptian style bowl. It's a little bigger yes. than the other ones. Uh, this one I have. If you look on the um, Shika's website, which is shikahuka.com, I mean, it gives you every bit of information you need on their products, their hookah, it's everything. This particular bowl I have is the Sheikah Dragon Bowl. As you can see, it's. Uh, might not take it off of one cover. Give a comparison here. Bring, my, bring the. Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a KM Egyptian bowl, would you? Yeah, that's. Yeah. Can't yeah. Egyptian bowl, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's your standard Egyptian bowl. Just, it's a lot beefier. It's a lot wider. And this is just the height. Give you an idea of height of the hookah, I guess. This is a double heart. I forget what it's called. I think it just goes by double hard. It's not hard of the line, it's just double hard oxidized quad metal, but that's height reference. 
This is a, uh, the highest I've seen they go is 40 inches. This is a 39 inch Hugo without the bowl. But, um, yeah. There's a difference it, in bowls. Yeah, I mean, the your standard Egyptian clay bowl that you get on any Egyptian Hugo is going to be about 13 grams. Of, uh, Which that's shisha. That's what I got. What I fit in there from our loose pack, sort of. But uh, depending on your shish. This bowl, basically, the outside of the lip of this bowl fits inside the lip of that bowl, so it's a good size bowl. The holes are poked pretty sloppy in this one. They're pretty neat in that one, weren't they? They're yeah. Pretty clean. Pretty, pretty clean through. Straight down. I know some different bowls have like kind of like a Mine angled is, hole, but mine looks like someone just poked it with a bunch of sticks after they made it. <laughs> it's kind of sloppy. But they're both. Good bowls, Egyptian yes. bowls, Egyptian bowls, Egyptian bowls, you know. Yeah. If you haven't tried an Egyptian bowl, definitely try. You know, if you try a mod bowl, it's the same concept, but completely different results. You can only smoke certain shishas out of it, though. Yeah, right now I'm smoking Nakla Mix Ice Apple. It's actually the second round of coals, which I typically don't get out of Nakla. I usually like to fry it in the first round. But uh, the second round, and it's smoking great, flavored great. And the uh, some people have the idea that a bigger huga means less flavor. After smoking this, I strongly disagree. I got full flavor, yeah. nice smoke. If we go back to the draw, just to explain uh, that. yes, the, the draw, draw is right up there with the KM draw. It is is just it's not restricted at all. You see that? I'm not sure. And uh, I am using a diffuser on it just because I like to have a diffuser and. Kind of has the, uh, you've seen a bottom of the cam stem, has that little bell. Same thing with this. Like, Except it doesn't have the lip on the bottom. It's yeah. literally like a ball on the end of the stem. Yes. Uh, if you want to use a fuser, you know, people will say, oh, you can't put a diffuser on a cam. It doesn't fit. Standardly, no, it does not fit. You know, if you want to put a diffuser on the cam or a sheet, you're just going to cut the diffuser a little bit at the cap. And then it'll just slip right on. End of story. Uh, I'd say four slits along the seams. Yeah. You gotta look where you're cutting. You can't just cut it up like you're... Yeah, if, you, if you have a diffuser in hand, you look at the cap, you'll see, you know, it has a couple seams. Just cut four slits, slide it on, the cap, uh, the actual diffuser itself fits perfectly in the middle. After a while, it just it stops. It's just perfect where it is. And... You go. Once you put it on there, you're basically going to have to struggle to get it off. You're not getting it off easily once you slide it over. I just want to, since this is a big hookah and I can't really fit it in my bag, because there's not really too many big bags. He had to slaughter his uh, Fumari bag a little yes, bit. I we'll bring that, we'll bring that over here to show you what he had to do. You don't have to cut the third slit. We just didn't know how it was going to fit in the bag originally. Yeah. But just, function is. over form for most things yes. in this industry. And this is a... I'm gonna take an extra large. It's the it's the biggest Fumari bag. bag you can get. You and can get other things that are big, but show them the cut. Uh, <laughs> it's not shisha. Show them the cut. Yeah. Okay. Gonna... You just you didn't have to do the other slit, but we thought we did, but we didn't. You just cut a slit, and it should fit right through. You got to put the base in first, and slide the stem in at an angle. Yeah. And uh, just as a side thing, Fumari bags, quality. Quality yeah, he, he is struggling to cut through that. <laughs> I mean, you can see inside here. It's got, it's got a few layers of foam and thick foam. Yeah, so. But this ain't a bag review. No, it's not, but <laughs> maybe another time. But if you're interested in a bag, from our bags are. The only reason why we do that is because we carry our stuff around a lot, going to our buddies' houses and smoking, because yeah. we really don't have a friend that doesn't have a hookah. Yeah. But it's I, don't, I don't know how we we'll wrap this up. I don't know if we've missed anything. Yeah. Oh. Um, I will say, kind of pitter patter on draw. Draw is not as open as a cam. That's one thing. It's not as open, but it has it's, a little bit of drag. It's pretty close up there. Yeah, it has a little bit of drag, which I personally like. I don't like a wide open draw. It just doesn't do it for me. I like That's knowing cool. how much I inhale. Yeah. Also, just make sure, let's just say this again. If you're. We we're talking about the V2 Sheikas that yeah. have the good draw. I can't say anything for the uh, older generations. I heard they had a bit of draw to them. Yeah. Which some people may or may not like. But uh, I definitely give a round of applause to Sheika for listening to their customers and making a second generation with a more open draw. It's one company that listens to their customers. There's companies out there to do it, but most 
I don't know how much, how close KM is with their customers because they are pretty far away. But that's really it. I said it's a beautiful hookah, all handcrafted. I mean, hookah masters from Cairo, Syria. You know, all around there. You know, kind of come together to make the you know the Shika hookah team. <laughs> And yeah. I'm just, I'm shocking off. It's a good hookah. What you get for the money, I guess. You do get you pay for it. Um, prices are going up, so everything. All the prices are going up, so whatever. What you can you do? What can you do with the economy? But, uh, like you say, it's a generalized price. I mean, I paid 150 off five star. That was the general price for any of the Shika hookahs. So... Definitely a great price for what you're getting. Alright, well, I guess we're done with this one. Yeah, that's basically... Oh! And it does come minus the hose I'm holding right now. That's my own personal hose. It comes with a Egyptian Sim style... You know, your standard Egyptian style Similar hose. to the rainbow hose, but it has a handle right here. Yeah, so kind of think of a Narbeach. It has a handle, and then just... You think of the cam colored black rainbow. It's good for breaking the fall of your hookah, as he learned the hard way. Yes. <laughs> Also on that, solid, very solid, this tipped over the first day I had it, almost cried, and um, nothing broke, I mean the hose broke, the fall. The plastic tip, that's the only, it's brittle on all plastic tips, it's only acrylic, it's only so strong. Yeah. But, but we're done, we're done here, we're almost done here, sir. Almost done. <laughs> but um, the hose itself is actually washable for a standard hose, fully washable. Mm-hmm. Which I thought was a nice twist to a, just a standard Egyptian hose. It's not full of, you know, cardboards, nice plastic inside. And if you want to put interchangeable tips, you're going to have to get that off by figuring it by yourself. We won't recommend to you on how to do that. It's not recommended. I mean, it's not detachable. It's glued in, but... You're going to have to figure that out. If you manage to pull it out, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. But that was short lived for us because it broke. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> all right. It'll be all right. But um, that's it. So definitely go check out Five Star for the Shikahuga. And also check out their website. Again, it's shikahuga.com. And it has everything you'll need about the Shikahugas and their products. So that's it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed, guys. See Catch you again later.